The Dr. Test Show is brought to you by Time Machine Procedure and Dr. Test Timeless MD. Hello, I'm Dr. Tess Mauricio. We should all be beautiful inside and out. We're at the airport and we're boarding from Incheon and we're going to go to Cebu. Well, obviously we're on the plane. Uh, we're headed from Incheon to Cebu. We just had an amazing time with my family. Uh, reconnecting with family is just it's an amazing experience. And to have brought my children and for them to experience my family in Korea just means everything. So, uh, but now we're on to test time on the Philippines mm. so we'll see you there. The plane ride was good. We got to ride business class and uh, it is real, uh, much better than the regular econ economy class. <laughs> So we arrive in Cebu, and the first thing that my brother says is, Ate, it's hot. It's already hot. It's already hot. Oh, and it was. Someone's hot. Someone's hot and sticky. Someone's hot and sticky. He says he feels like a steamed dumpling. Yeah, we're steamed dumplings coming from Korea. Mandu. We're steamed mandu. We flew into Cebu and then we took a shuttle to Shangri-La Mactan and you know that was the first time that my kids really got to see the Philippines, right? Not inside a resort but seeing you know the tricycles, the sari sari store, the people how they're like playing you know out outside, um, the rice fields and all of that not so glamorous like in the resort and they actually said they liked it. Oh the resort was gorgeous it was beautiful they had these white sand beaches and the water was glass and it was warm and it felt like silk when you swam in it it was oh, it was amazing when we got to the resort of course it was beautiful and from the moment you step into Shangri-La you're treated like royalty they even have like singing um, welcoming you in there and then you know they have the Sampaguita to welcome you and then they just, they have you um, drinks I think you know it was a little humid for their taste, but they all forgot about it because they were treated so well. Corned beef, talong, um, 
longanisa, tocino, and the um, adobo pork. <laughs> so, um, I'm not being good today, but I'll be good tomorrow. Or maybe not. I'll be good when I get back to the States. Right. And it was a beautiful event, and Hilda was just gorgeous. <sighs> I don't know. You you feel like you want to cry, but you're you know, but you're also so happy. So it's like it's a mixed thing. You're not losing your daughter. You're gaining a son. So I like to think of it that way and concentrate on that portion, because otherwise I'm gonna start crying and I'm gonna ruin my makeup. We all grow old. That's how it works. But we can age beautifully. I bring to you my very own skincare line, Timeless MD by Dr. Tess. After years of research, I've been able to incorporate 29 of the most effective ingredients for skin lightening, skin soothing, anti-acne, and anti-aging. Now, wherever you are in the world, you can experience Timeless MD, developed and manufactured in the USA. The future of your skin has never looked so bright. Ang sikreto ko ho, exercise, syempre, diet, of course, important yun. At maraming tulog. At ang pinakasikreto ko sa lahat. Hi, Gabby! Dr. Tess! Sorry, late ko ha. Okay lang, alam ko, busy ka. Okay, pa-prepare ka na ha? Okay. 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 Gago. Dr. Tess Mauricio, America's favorite dermatologist. Yan ang sikreto. So, now you ready for your next time machine? Ready, Doc. Let's start na. Let's go! You'll be impressed with M Beauty by Dr. Tess. One of the reasons we went to the Philippines is to attend my dear friend Hilda Coronel's daughter's wedding. You know, I invited Dr. Tess because she's like family to us already. So every time we have some big occasion coming, I have to go see her first. I have a wedding, I go see her. I have my birthday, I go see her. I'm going to do a film, I go see her. You know, I've got to go see her. So this time I did that and I told her she's invited. Let's go and have some fun. So she did. She went with us and it was nice. It's nice to have friends, you know, during these occasions. Preparing the mother of the bride, Miss Hilda Coronel, is really an important job. You know, Hilda's now living in the United States. She doesn't really go back to the Philippines very often, but everybody in the Philippines, especially in her age group, knows how she's supposed to look. And I think when you're an actress, iconic actress like that, it's very important that, you know, people still recognize you and, um, you know, you do feel like everyone's expecting you to be beautiful and well-preserved forever. And so what we did for her is a series of time machine procedures where we were just rebuilding her own college and turning back the clock on the aging process. We addressed some of the sunspots on her skin because she doesn't naturally normally wear makeup. So she likes to just be all au naturel. And so we took care of that. We did some fillers to really just kind of lift areas that are saggy in a natural way. Um, and we did some Venus freeze treatments to really get her body looking amazing for this beautiful mother of the bride gown. We did the treatments before I left. I had a lot of treatments done. My favorite treatments, of course, the time machine, I do the Venus free. I do everything before I leave. And I go to test before I do anything. And not just me, my husband too. <laughs> when we got there, it was really amazing because everybody was raving. They couldn't believe that Hilda Cornell, even though she is the mother of the bride, look so youthful. They always tell me like I look uh, younger or I didn't get older, you know, so I look good and what am I doing? So I always say like, hey, uh, you know, eat properly, sleep, you know, and of course I have doctor tests, you know. She was just glowing, naturally beautiful, and I know that when that is the result, I did my job well. It's my youngest girl who got married, Gabby, and um, I want to see her happy, so I'm happy. It was going to be at Shangri-La Maktan, Cebu, and I thought, well, it's a great opportunity, first time for my kids to ever go to the Philippines, first time for me to ever go to Cebu, and you know, Hilda and Ralph were really saying, please come, it's going to be fun, and um, so we said, let's go, and it was a beautiful beautiful venue and Hilda Coronel, for those of you who don't know, probably the younger generations, well, 
If you're my age or older, you know who Hilda Coronel is. She's an iconic actress and um, with Lino Broca movies, she basically was the face of Filipino theaters for decades. And you know, personally though, she is a very shy, reserved person, super nice, super down to earth, but you know, but keeps within herself. She's very, very simple. And you know, James and I actually feel very honored that among everybody that they knew, um, we were one of the few friends that they invited from the States um, to attend their daughter's wedding. Well, we met through friends and I was, you know, I had dermatologists when I was in Manila, but since I came to the U.S., I just, I was very afraid to uh, just go to any doctor. So when friends told me that, you know, go see Tess and maybe try, and uh, I was, my husband was a bit hesitant because, you know, I use my face a lot for work. So, but I did go and after talking to her, my husband said, no, you think about it. And I said, no, I'm going to do it today, now, now. So I did because I loved her, you know, I mean, she would explain to you the process and I just love her. She's so nice and wonderful and after the treatments, she'll call you, she'll text you and I don't get that from the other doctors here. So it's just a personal relationship that you have with the doctor that I don't get anywhere else. So it's just nice. And it was a beautiful event and Hilda was just gorgeous. You, you feel like you want to cry but you're you know but you're also so happy so it's like it's a mixed thing you're not losing your daughter you're gaining a son so i like to think of it that way and concentrate on that portion because otherwise i'm going to start crying and i'm going to ruin my makeup so i hate that <laughs> the wedding that we attended in cebu it was drop dead gorgeous the chapel for the ceremony was right on the water and the sun was setting as they were saying their vows and it was just gorgeous and it was just an all it was all glass with these white flowers beautiful and it was nice to be in a place where um, not just because people know you but it's just it's home no matter what it's home oh the reception was super fun um, it's just like all the Filipino parties you go to but times like a million and even though I didn't know all the people there, they're all so nice and we had so much fun dancing. It's fun. Tess is fun. She loves to sing and she likes to dance. And there's a, they're just a nice family. I love James and I love the two kids. So we're just happy to have them with us. No, I didn't dance. I just, just sat and ate. <laughs> It was fun. I love you, Dr. Tess. I'm going to see you soon. After the wedding, it was the fun part with the family. Nothing beats Philippine Beach. The water was just perfect. And while we were at the beach, we went on this sailboat and it was just beautiful. The water was so smooth and it's something I'll remember for a long time. Dr. Tess, show I'll take care. Was fun, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Are you taking the Helio Plus antioxidant supplements I gave you? Oh yeah, two right every morning. Yes, yeah. but Helio Plus is not just for sun protection because it has glutathione, mm -hmm. collagen, lipoid, vitamins A, C, D, and E, plus polypodium. Polypodium. That's the one. That's the one that I saw in Doctor Oz's show, right? That's the one that's helping me stay young and healthy, correct? Well, like I Good. said, I'll take care of you. Uh, Take care of you. I'm so blessed to have a successful career in show business and be a wife and a mother at the same time. After my second child, I realized that I And I'm so lucky to find the best, si Dr. Tess. Women's bodies change after childbirth. It's almost impossible to get back in shape after having kids. Our tickle lipo procedure will get that body back. Ladies, we can get our sexy back. Dr. Tess, simply the best. After the wedding, it was the fun part with the family. You know, they enjoyed the wedding, but of course, nothing beats Philippine beach. It was just beautiful. The water was so smooth, and it's something I'll remember for a long time. Yeah, I forgot the waterproof housing for the GoPro. This is just the uh, protective housing. But it's water resistant at least, you know. Oh, look at the coral that we got. 
<laughs> and the fishes I mean it's just everywhere you didn't even really need snorkeling gear and they couldn't believe it that you know these fishes are just swimming all around them here are the fishes check that out Take the we're swimming with the fishes literally yeah. oh what the what do you mean? oh they didn't get scared they thought it was food Whoa. Michael threw a big rock in there and I thought it was going to scare all the fishes away. No, it's sand. The fish away. Oh, sand or something. Look. Wow, look, they're just... Oh. Look at that. How amazing is this? It's so amazing. Look, people paragliding or parasailing. Oh, what is that? Okay, paragliding in the back? We're in the sailing. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we're going sailing. And while we were at the beach, we went on this sailboat. All right, we're getting our life jackets on, ready to go sailing here in Cebu, Philippines. Safety first, right? That's where we're headed. Light winds a day, says the master. My mom being the dermatologist that she is, if you happen to see us at the beach, I was wearing a gigantic sun hat and every hour we were reapplying sunscreen and it worked. I did not get sunburnt, no sunspots, and I recommend you guys do the same. On the count of three, say Wilson! Wilson! One, two, three. Wilson! <laughs> back to land. <laughs> Captain Christopher didn't leave us stranded. Thank you. <laughs> they really had an amazing time. They didn't want to leave the beach. So overall, my experience in Asia was definitely positive and I I would love to go again. I think that given we only had a few days in the Philippines, they got a nice taste of how it's like to be in the Philippines and they enjoyed their trip, they loved it, and they can't wait to go back. We can't help aging, but now we can do it beautifully. You'll never have to worry about wrinkles, fine lines, saggy, or deteriorating skin. With my professional medical team, home of the original Time Machine procedure and my latest skincare product, Timeless MD, you can now look years younger naturally. Still afraid of looking old? Or excited to embrace the beauty of aging? Okay, welcome back to Ask Dr. Tess. Anch, I want you to read this question. Okay. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mark from Orlando. Hello, oh, Mark. Hi, hi Mark. From Orlando. <laughs> I have skin tags removed and they keep on growing back. Is this natural? How can I permanently erase them? This is actually a very common question oh, yes. that a lot of Filipinos ask. So um, I think across the board, most Filipinos have skin tags. Yeah, it's it's genetic. Mm -hmm. um, in the Philippines, they call them warts. Why do they not, do that? I don't know because they're not really warts. Warts are a viral infection. Yeah, and this is not you know the the growths that you see are not really warts because if you biopsy them and you look under the microscope, there's not going to be any viral and elements. Warts are contagious. So exactly. I think that's like a little, you you know, skin tags are not contagious as well. So, so you did, no one gave it to you. You can't give it yeah. to someone. And really, there's no way for you, Mark, to stop them from coming. I mean, that's the bad news. The good news is, like you've experienced, it's easy to treat. Oh, very easy. Um, but, you know, it's not your fault, is what I tell my <laughs> patients. Um, it, but it will need maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very easy to treat. Okay, thanks, Anne, for joining me in our Ask Dr. Test segment. And keep those questions questions coming because we love answering them, right? We do. Okay. Keep Bye. them coming. Bye.